Hello and welcome. Drops in frame rates are an absolute nightmare for streamers. Usually, these drops are a result of bad OBS settings or a problem with your internet connection. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix stuttering and dropped frames in OBS Studio. Before we start making changes to OBS, make sure that you aren't running programs that you don't need on your stream or recording file. Close programs like Chrome or Firefox as they have an impact on your system resources. In OBS Studio, there are a few settings that we need to change or set. In the first method, we check the output settings. Click on File in the top left corner, and after that on Settings. Select the Output tab and change Output Mode to Advanced. In the Streaming tab, we can now change the encoder. If possible, and if your card is powerful enough, change this to NVIDIA NVNC or RTX depending on your GPU. Otherwise, set it to X264. Next up, check your display resolution settings. Right-click somewhere on your desktop and select Display Settings. Here you see the recommended display resolution. Switch back to OBS Studio and check the box next to Rescale Output. Usually, you can match this with the recommended resolution we found earlier, unless you use an unusually shaped screen. In that case, set it to 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. 1280 by 720 is the safest choice to avoid stuttering. The lower the resolution, the easier it is to have a smooth running stream. The scaled resolution works best in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Next, we reach one of the most important parts of this tutorial. First, make sure that rate control is set to CBR. So, as a rule of thumb, if you want to stream in 1080p and 60fps, you should set the bitrate to at least 6000. For 1080p and 30fps, you can set the bitrate to 5000. For 720p and 60fps, set it to 5000 as well. For 720p and 30fps, lower it to 3000. However, your connection needs to be fast enough to match this constant bitrate. If your bitrate is set too high and your connection can't back it up, you will have frame drops and stuttering. You can check your connection on a speedtest website like speedtest.net. You can copy the link from the description. The speed test takes about half a minute to complete. You need to check your upload speed. In my case, I could push the bitrate to above 10,000, but this isn't necessary, so I'll set it to 5,000. Next, adjust the keyframe interval to 2 seconds and the CPU usage preset to very fast or to quality depending on your encoder choice. The last setting to change is profile. Set this to main. Click on apply and it might be that changing these settings was enough to fix the stuttering. Restart OBS Studio, but try to do so as administrator. Click on the Windows search icon and type in OBS. Right click on it and select run as administrator. In the next method, we make sure that other video capture devices aren't running in the background, as this has a big impact on your CPU usage. This is something that happens when you have multiple video capture devices. To change this setting, double click on a video capture device. When it opens, check the box next to deactivate when not showing. After that, click on OK. You have to do this for each source that you set in OBS. That is it for the second step. The next thing that you want to keep in mind is that streaming over Wi-Fi can be unreliable as the signal strength changes constantly. When you live stream, you should try to use an Ethernet cable. If this stops the stuttering and dropped frames, you have an issue with your Wi-Fi and you should try to use Ethernet from now on. When Wi-Fi is the only option, try moving as close as possible to your router. If you are still having issues, it's a good idea to clear your DNS cache. To do this, click on the Windows search icon and type in CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. This opens a terminal window. Enter the following command. ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. When you enter the command, the DNS cache gets reset, and hopefully you fix any network-related issue. Now for the recording settings. Again, click on Settings, followed by clicking on Output. After that, click on the Recording tab. The first thing that you want to do is set the recording path to an SSD, if possible, and if you have enough room on it. 
otherwise you can leave it as it is. As a recording format, I advise selecting MP4. Same as before, set the encoder to NVIDIA, NVNC if possible, otherwise set it to X264. Leave rate control on CBR or change it to CBR if it is set to something else. Bitrate should be fine as long as it is above 10,000. The higher the value, the higher amount of storage it uses. Set the keyframe interval to 2 seconds. Below that, set preset to quality and profile to main. The final setting to change in this screen is the max B frame setting. Set it to 2. After that, click on apply and OK. We are almost done with OBS Studio. There is one thing that we need to change in the advanced settings menu. Again, click on settings. Click on advanced on the left side of the menu. Change process priority from normal to above normal. Click on apply and OK. If you tried all of these steps and you are still having problems with stuttering or dropped frames, you still have a few options left to try. The first one is to make sure that you are using the latest version of OBS Studio. In OBS, click on Help, followed by clicking on Check for Updates. The next one to check is the server configuration setting for streaming. Click on Settings once more and select Stream. By default, Twitch automatically chooses a server for you. Click on the drop-down menu next to Server and select the location nearest to you. You can try a few different servers to check what works best. Another option to try is updating your graphics driver. If you use NVIDIA, you can use the GeForce Experience app. For AMD, you can use the AMD driver suite. In my case, I have an NVIDIA card, so in the GeForce Experience app, click on Drivers, and here you can download the latest drivers. This concludes our how to fix dropped frames in OBS Studio tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.